Hi, it's Dwyer, nursing a bit of a cold. Thursday, September 23rd, 2021. Gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Bettingangle.us, a free site. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now let me back up a little bit. I'm a big fan of Colin Cowherd. I enjoy his show. Right? He has a lot of insight. He's obviously been following the sport a long time. He thinks like a gambler. But let me just be blunt here. He's been taking shots at Aaron Rodgers. And I just want to say, according to how I look at football, Rodgers is the best quarterback in the league. Right now, by the way, in my book, Russell Wilson a guy who's never gotten an MVP vote, is the second best quarterback in the National Football League. I would say the third best is Pat Mahomes, then we'll go to Tom Brady. I'll agree with those who are deep in analytics, who will point out that on the road, Aaron Rodgers isn't as good as Tom Brady. I would just argue that the Green Bay Packers haven't had some of the teams that Tom Brady has had. Let me just say, the best quarterback I've ever seen, uh, this will date me, is Joe Montana. I just want people to understand that it's just fashionable to criticize great quarterbacks. There's something with the position, uh, there's something with celebrity, where over time, even Joe Cool, Joe Montana, started to get criticized by the Bay Area media. Right? Keep in mind, there's a moment there where Bill Walsh decides he needs to change quarterbacks. So he actually goes and gets Steve Young. And of course, there's a period there where Montana's hurt and Young is in playing quarterback for the San Francisco 49ers in the 1980s. Right? Just understand, there was a moment there where John Elway had been to three Super Bowls, hadn't been able to win any of them because back then we thought the NFC was just naturally superior. And people started asking the question of whether Elway, a great quarterback, could win the big one. Dan Marino, another great quarterback, never did. Right? Just understand, if you need a quarterback who is great in the pocket consistently, which Pat Mahomes is not. If you need a quarterback who you could just drop into a stadium and say, hey, here are your teammates, work some magic, and have that quarterback deliver, right? Let's face it, deep down we really don't know what Pat Mahomes would be without Travis Kelsey or Tyreek Hill or Andy Reid. Right? Just understand, there was an open question on whether Tom Brady could survive without Bill Belichick, which wasn't answered until last year. Well, with Aaron Rodgers, you already know he's one of the best quarterbacks in the league. You already know that one of the people stopping Russell Wilson is his head coach, Pete. Right? You already know that, right? To me, Aaron Rodgers is the best in the game. Russell Wilson is the second best. They're 1-1-A, one, one right? Those are the best quarterbacks in the game. I know it's fashionable right now to take shots on Aaron Rodgers. Let's not kid ourselves. We've watched Rodgers do it without a Travis Kelsey. We've watched Rodgers do it without a Bill Belichick. We've watched Rodgers do it outside the pocket and inside the pocket. You know that if you don't allow him to move outside the pocket, he'll still kill you. Right? We haven't seen Rodgers underperform in seven of eight Super Bowl quarters like we have Pat Mahomes. Let's get to... Uh, Enough of the commentary. Let's get to the picks that I like this week. I'm just going to tell you the days 
and the lines that I got. I made a bet on September 19th, right? I took the Saints and I got three points. I believe that's the current line right now against the New England Patriots. Look, I'm a big fan of Bill Belichick's. I understand the Saints fell apart week two after dismantling Green Bay with a rushing attack week one, right? You know, the secret to this game, as much as I like the rookie quarterback of the New England Patriots, and he might be the best rookie quarterback in this year's class, but understand it's a rookie quarterback going up against, statistically, one of the best defenses from last year. Right? Let's not get too carried away two games into the season. Look at the numbers on the Saint defense from last year. Now keep in mind, we're one week removed from Jameis Winston throwing for five touchdowns with not a lot of yardage. Week one. Right? The Saints are schemed up. They're not relying on Jameis to throw deep. You have a rookie quarterback in against one of the best defenses in the league. I think the Saints easily cover the three points on the road at New England. Let's talk about the next bet. Talk about snake bitten. Say what you want, but Kirk Cousins is actually a very good quarterback at home. Say what you want, but you and I know that Minnesota Viking team should have won last week. No doubt about it. Their field goal kicker misses the kick. You and I know their loss week one was ridiculous to the Bengals. The Vikings really are within an eyelash of being 2-0. Right? You also know that Seattle has to feel gutted by the comeback last week of the Tennessee Titans, right? Everyone in the stadium knew that Derrick Henry was going to get the football and they couldn't stop him. What leads you to believe that they're going to stop Dalvin Cook? I like the Minnesota Vikings. On the 19th of September, I was able to get them at a plus one at home against Seattle. But let me be clear here. You look up the splits on Russell Wilson. I'm not kidding when I say he's the second best quarterback in the league. Folks, he's phenomenal on the road. Right? I'll agree. You're playing Russian roulette here. Because Russell Wilson is the kind of guy who doesn't need a supporting cast to win games. I just feel that at 0-2, this is a must-win game for Minnesota. And since Kirk Cousins is home, I'm giving them the nod in this one. Finally, you heard me mention the Tennessee Titans. They're at home against the Indianapolis Colts. Understand Carson Wentz, the Colts starting quarterback, has two sprained ankles. Right? Understand Tennessee is better than advertised. Ryan Tannehill is better than advertised. Derrick Henry looks like he's in midseason form. This is the team that went out and picked up Julio Jones, right? I like Tennessee, not on the point spread. We're not going to deal with the point spread this early in the year until we know more about the teams. I like Tennessee here on a money line, a minus 255 over the Indianapolis Colts. That's the way I'm playing it this week. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.